Welcome back to another edition of Awaken the Wonder. Right off the top, just want to make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bell on YouTube. For those on the podcast, make sure you leave a rating for us. It'll be very helpful. I'm excited to continue my conversation with Susan Starr for part two. Today, we're going to be talking to you about healing and the golden chocolate. (laughs) In the last episode, if you did not hear, make sure you go back to episode one because Susan's story of how she uh, really as her childhood was filled with the Holy Spirit as her first language and ultimately was healed. Well, that healing was the catalyst for her life just turning into a walking sign and wonder. So we're going to hear a lot of her stories this week. Make sure you stay tuned for part three tomorrow. And today, welcome back, Susan. Thank you. Yeah, it's good to have you here. Thank you so much. We're here in North Carolina. For those that watch our our typical program in our studio, they'll notice a different look. But we've had a series here in North Carolina with some amazing people. And um, in your ministry, uh, More Ministries, is a part of what's going on here at the Apple Hill Lodge. And so we're excited for all that God's doing with More Ministries. Where can people stay connected to your ministry? At moremoravianfalls.com. Wonderful. And for those that have been following our series, you might might have heard from Mark or Nancy Brown as well. And uh, we did a couple of of shows with them. And so they are all part of More Ministries Together. And they do everything from prayer retreats and conferences. And they work with healing and deliverance. And so uh, there's a lot of amazing ministry that happens with them and with Susan and your husband, Frank. So we're excited to make sure people get connected with your guys' ministry. Um, today we want to talk, uh, about healing, but before we get to that, in the last episode, you referred to this golden chocolate that flowed through. You didn't know how else to explain it. That just came through your entire body and you felt it. Well, that really was a, uh, really an amazing sign and wonder for what is actually taking place pretty much every day of your life now, right? It is. It really is. Tell me about the golden chocolate. You know, people had talked to me before I was healed and because they had said, when you receive prayer from, and they would name a minister, and you're healed, you may feel soup, like a warm feeling or electricity running through you. And each time I would try to put myself in a place of um, where I would feel, you know, hope that I would feel that electricity or feel that soup. But when Rodney Hogue prayed for me, I felt, guys, what I felt was golden hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. And since it happened to me, and since I've got this gold dust, now I didn't have it. it. It literally went all through me. And as it traveled, I was racked with pain. I had so much pain. That's why I took, um, my autonomic nervous system was fried. So I took 40 to 60 pills a day for the dysautonomia and for the pain. But when Rodney prayed for me and Jesus healed me, he, Rodney prayed, started with my head and He's prayed for my brain. He prayed for the dimming that I had in my eyes. He prayed for my ears that didn't hear well and had constant infections. And as he prayed, I the I could feel something going on. And as he moved to the next thing, the pain that I had, the constant headache that I had left. But, and as he prayed for my left lung and then my right lung, I could feel it kind of swoosh over. Wow. I know. It was was running down you. Oh, yeah. (laughs) And it did feel warm, but it felt like golden hot chocolate. Um, And that week, one of my friends who's far more into... I was like no grid. I was Presbyterian. I I would attend a Presbyterian church in the morning and go to another church on Sunday afternoons that was non-denominational. But um, 
I really didn't have a grid for the supernatural. Wow. So the fact this was happening to me and I didn't really have a grid for it, I was trying to read as many books as I could because I knew something had happened that I needed to quickly learn about. But she was investigating and looking up my arm and, you know, going, let me see, let me see, and shining a flashlight in my my arm and on my hand, trying to see if I had gold, she called it gold dust. And I was I really, I mean, I was, you know, kind of disappointing her and upset about disappointing her because she was sort of like my mentor. But I didn't have anything on me. Um, the next morning, I woke up and I was um, singing in the shower and singing prayer songs and, you know, worship songs, um, just having fun and toweling off and getting dressed. And when I was getting dressed, I looked down at my hand and my hand was sparkling. And I thought, well, I dried that. So I, I dried it again. It was still sparkling. So I dried it again. <laughs> it was still sparkling. I was like, this is what she was looking for. And so I looked up here. It was, it was there. And then I looked. It was all over my body. It wow. wasn't just on my hand. It was so you everywhere. So you have this gold dust all over your body. Yep. It's everywhere. And I have firsthand uh, watched you minister uh, just a few months ago. And I remember looking over, I had, I had three other ministers with me that night and we were, we were here for a prayer retreat and we had just had a gathering of 20 people and we were all talking. And actually, I think it was in this very room that it happened and you were ministering and I, lo I look over and nudge the first one. Hey guys, look, look, she's like glowing. <laughs> and then, then the next one, he taps over and all four of us are looking and you're like on your face across like your neck area. You can see it on your hands. And then we all look at ourselves and we all have this gold dust on us too. W what do you think it is? Like why gold dust? Like <laughs> what do you think it means? Like, cause I, I know people have said, well, where's that in the Bible or where's this scripture? Or, How's that this? And I mean, there's, if you look up on a few YouTube videos, you can see there's been some prominent ministries that have had moments where like this golden glory or gold, dust cloud or what there's all kinds of stuff out there but I've watched it firsthand with you and it's it is real <laughs> it comes when um I can take a shower but as soon as I start praying saying scripture ministering it just it comes and it gets thicker and thicker and thicker um it gets on the people that I'm praying for and it's alive wow now and the uh, alive part means it's from God. Come on. Yeah. Now you and love it'll Jesus. it'll run up them. I love Jesus. I, every time I'm around you, I just feel like the, the intimacy of love you have for him. And you have, it, it's just, it oozes out of you. Oh, and gosh. so it almost feels like that's where it's coming from. It like, is. <laughs> it is. Now you've had, it, it, just, just to show this isn't just an outward thing that a manifestation, a sign, a wonder, whatever you want to call it. You have had two open heart surgeries. That's right. And um, after the first one, tell me what happened when you woke up. <laughs> so for open heart surgery, which is no fun, I don't recommend it for anyone. <laughs> um, they, you have chest tubes and the first, um, the chest tubes drain and they, they stick out right about there. And the chest tubes drain and about day three or four, the chest tubes are supposed to come out. And my chest tubes were still draining. And my nurses said, well, these chest tubes are due to come out. That's protocol. Um, I'm gonna call up to the OR and find out why your chest tubes are still draining. Let's, see, let's find out what, the, what happened differently for you during your surgery. And so, uh, instead of getting a word from the OR, a nurse came down and she came down and, and came and saw me and she said, well, well, ma'am, 
you had this sparkle stuff inside your chest <laughs> and we kept trying to irrigate it out. And that is why you've got all this extra fluid in your chest. And I was like, what? <laughs> they had, so I had um, these, I had to stay in the hospital a couple of extra days because they couldn't get rid of my chest tubes. So, so let me get this straight. You had some golden hot chocolate inside of your chest. Oh yeah. <laughs> and it's it inside is, your cavities. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. And there, so there may be a source on the inside of where your blood's flowing from, <laughs> going to the rest of your body, just producing this stuff. I can't explain <laughs> it. It is God. Now, you end up having a second. I did. I had surgery. a second open heart surgery. And, and you, you left a note, right? I did. I pinned a note, but I pinned a note to my gown and I talked to every person, every medical professional that I saw and said, guys, I know that I've got this, this sparkly stuff inside my chest wall and you don't worry about it. You're not going to be able to irrigate it out. Just ignore it and please do not do the extra irrigation because last time I ended up having these chest tubes and it made me stay in the hospital for extra time. Please don't, don't mess with it. Well, and they all probably just kind of, oh, okay, okay, you know, just yeah, 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 I'm listening to you, uh-huh. <laughs> so, but so then you got the inside, I had the surgery. Well, what then the nurses came in to see me in the ICU and said, we just want to let you know that two of the four nurses that were in IC, were in the surgery with you came to Jesus because of the sparkle, <laughs> because they had never seen anything like that. So you were actually able to lead these, uh, these two nurses actually were Hey, my to body the did. For the, it si was for the God. sign of wonder. Yeah, which is what signs and wonders are for. What did they point to? <laughs> Only Jesus. Come on. Only Jesus. It. That's the only thing that it serves. Now, there might be somebody out there that's like, well, I want some of this gold dust to come on me. What do I got to do? You know, it, what would you tell people? Because I'm sure many people have asked you that over the years as, as, as a prayer, prayer for them for impartation, you know. A ask Jesus for it. Yeah. Ask Jesus for it. I didn't know that I asked him for it. Um, I, but after I was healed, I certainly didn't have it the day that my friend was looking for it. Um, I knew I disappointed her. I don't like disappointing people. I'm a pleaser, but um, I did. I I didn't remember asking for it because it seemed kind of strange. He to just me. decided to manifest his presence upon he you, did. and that's how it's coming out. He wow. did, and it 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 comes out everywhere. And my, you know, I've got family members who think that. I paint it on. I go wow. on ministry trips and everyone wants to use my lotion. And yeah. I'm like, it's Luberderm, here. It's not the lotion. <laughs> it's not the lotion. It's not in the lotion. You're welcome oh. to use it, but <laughs> it's not my lotion. It's, it's honestly, it's in there. But when I pray for people, it, it usually, um, and the people that I'm nearby, Wow. Nancy often has it because yeah. she's my prayer partner and pretty much she has it. Wow. But we both know it's it doesn't mean anything except for Jesus. Right. And a lot of times I'll tell people, they'll say, what is that? And I'll go, it's pavement because, <laughs> you know, the streets are gold. The, Come on. <laughs> the streets are paved with gold in heaven. Wow. Yeah. Now, tomorrow's episode, we're going to talk about healing. And so uh, I encourage many to stay tuned because you have some healing stories and we'll, we'll share we'll share two or three or four tomorrow. Um, but for those that are watching, can you just go ahead and pray a prayer over them uh, of impartation that the Lord would begin to manifest his presence in greater ways, however that looks like in their lives? Absolutely. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I ask you, Lord, that you would impart to all those watching and listening, impart to them in greater measure 
your healing and your 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 the things that you have for them yes father i ask this in the mighty name of jesus whether it be gold dust whether it be signs and wonders. Because the other thing I didn't tell you, Caleb, is I have fire that came with, um, he, that came with my healing. And fire. Some of you will start receiving fire. Fire. The fire of God fire of God straight from his throne room. I know I can feel it going. Receive it now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Wow. I, I feel it right now. Uh, oh, I, I, <laughs> I think there's people feeling it in their cars. Some yes. of them might need, you might need to step off that treadmill while you're working out right now. Cause I know many of you listen to this during your workouts. You might need to sit down for a minute here. <laughs> that's not just cause you're sweating. That's cause the presence of God is upon you. Wow. Susan, this has been such a blessing. Um, can, can you tell people where they can stay connected with more ministries? Please more ministries, more. It's actually more Moravian Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you so much. For those of you listening, make sure you leave your testimonies. I would love to hear them. Email us at info at kingdomencounters.us and go to the Evangelist Caleb Wampler Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And I want to make sure to hear your stories, your testimonies, and would love to have you subscribe today and leave your comments. God bless you guys. Stay tuned for tomorrow's episode with Susan on healing. Until next time. Thank you for listening to Awaken the Wonder. If you enjoyed today's show and want more ministry like this, please visit kingdomencounters.us where you can find weekly blogs and my latest book, Hunger. Be sure to subscribe and follow me on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram at the tag Evangelist Caleb Wampler. If the Lord leads you to partner with us in the nations in prayer and giving, visit kingdomencounters.us. I'll see you next time.